What's going on everyone? This is Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U and today we're going to talk about conduit fill. The, the whole reason that the conduit fill tables are in the code is to protect the conductor so that we don't damage the insulation. The first thing we need to talk about is chapter 9 table 1. Well, it says if you are running over two conductors that you cannot fill that conduit more than 40%. Really with conduit, there's four different areas from chapter nine and uh, annex C that you need to know deal with conduit fill. So our first example, we're gonna talk about conductors that are of different sizes in the same conduit. Say we've got a piece of two inch EMT conduit and we're trying to fit three two aught THHN conductors and three three aught THHN conductors. So what we have to do is figure out, well, what is the area of each conductor? What is the area of the entire conduit? And then what is the area of only 40% of that conduit? Conductors are in table five. There's a whole bunch of different insulation types. It's organized by insulation types. So go to the THHN section and you see it's sized from 14 all the way up to 1,000. First, let's go to the 2 aught. 2 aught, you go over to the inches squared column under the approximate area. Go over to the right, you see 0.2223, write that down. That one two watt conductor is 0.2223 inches squared. That's the area of that conductor. Then we're gonna go to three aught, do the same thing, that's 0.2679, write that down. Now you're gonna multiply each one of those values by three. We have three two watt conductors and three three aught conductors. That should equal 1.4706, right? And we go to two inch under EMT, go over to the 40% column under inches squared, and two inches says 1.342. So no, those conductors will not fit per code. So uh, you would actually need to upsize your conduit. All right, so next example, what if we have all of the same sized conductors in a piece of conduit? So we can go to Annex C, Conduit and Tubing Fill Tables. In this case, we're working with THHN. Three aught says under the two inch trade size column five. This whole chart calculates everything at a 40% value already. Five three aught conductors will fit at 40% area in a two inch conduit. Last thing to talk about are nipples. Nipples allow you to go up to 60% area for your conduit fill and you don't have to derate them. Uh, note four says where conduit and tubing nipples have a maximum length not exceeding 24 inches are installed between boxes, cabinets, and similar enclosures. The nipples shall be permitted to be filled to 60% of their cross-sectional area and 310.15C1 adjustment factors need not apply. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to uh, table five. This is where all of our insulations are. We're gonna look under the THHN insulation and then we're going to go down to 3 aught and find that it's 0.2679 inches squared that is the area for one 3 aught conductor then we're going to go back to table 4 we're going to look at 2 inch EMT but we're going to go to the 60 percent column this time for nipples and you'll find at 2 inches we've got 2.013 inches squared take the 2.013 the, the 60 percent divide that by 0.2679 for the one conductor size, and you're gonna get seven and some change. So that means that you can put seven three-aught conductors in a nipple, whereas our example before, we could only put five three-aught conductors in a standard piece of conduit. Make sure that you understand and that you read chapter nine under table one, the notes. Uh, it just gives you a lot of useful information about conduit fill. So I think at least familiarizing yourself with all of the notes and then familiarizing yourself with chapter nine, table one, table four, table five, and annex C, then you'll have a really good understanding of what you need to be doing with these conductors and the conduit that you're trying to put them in.